Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath. And today we're going to learn about algebraic and numeric expressions. We're going to evaluate using the variables given. So, if I was given this expression, 6 plus q plus 5 minus q minus p plus 15. And we want to use p to be equal 1 and q to equal 1 as well. Alright, so what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my expression and every single time I see a variable I'm going to substitute to the corresponding um, variable matched up with its number. Luckily for us, both of them is just 1. So 6 comes down plus q is a 1 plus 5 minus this q is just a 1 minus p, which is a 1. We can put parentheses and we substitute it in uh, normally. Well, it was kind of messy, but all. And then plus 15. So now we want to simplify it. We're going to use, all right, uh, use PEMDAS theorem. Parentheses were first. So I'm going to have 6 plus 1 plus 5 right here. Minus 1 minus 1 in big parentheses is just a 0. Plus 15. So now we just have subtraction and addition to deal with. Well, let's go left to right here. 6 plus 1 is a uh, 7. 7 plus 5 is 12, so we have 12 right there. Minus 0 doesn't do anything, right? It kind of minus 0 just leaves it there. And then we have plus 15. Okay, don't really worry about that. Minus 0. So now we have 12 plus 15, which comes out to be a 27. And so our final answer here is just a 27. So let's recap, we're given 6 plus q plus 5 minus q minus p plus 15. And we, we had to use p to be 1 and q to be 1 as well. Every single time I saw p and q, I substituted a 1. Then I simplified, dealt with this big parenthesis first, 1 minus 1 was 0. Then I just added across the board, 6 plus 1 plus 5 plus 12. Minus 0 is nothing, so just don't worry about it. And I'll bring down a plus 15. 12 plus 15 is a 27, and 27 is my final. That's it.